Welcome back. It is the day American expats all over the world have been dreading. A new law forcing them to disclose their overseas assets goes into effect. It is called FATCA. It forces foreign financial institutions to disclose any U.S. citizens' accounts worth more than $50,000. And if they don't do it, in some cases you, if you don't do it, you could be liable to a 30% tax on any cross-border payments. It was inspired by a raft of cases involving Americans hiding huge amounts of money in overseas tax accounts. This law has triggered a wave of Americans renouncing their citizenship, nearly 3,000 so far last year, according to the U.S. Treasury. Around 80 countries have signed up to the FATCA law. China was one of the last. In fact, it signed up just a few days before legislation took effect. It will apply to around 72,000 Americans living in China and more than 60,000 living in Hong Kong. As with other countries, China will be able to use FACA to ensure its citizens in the U.S. disclose their finances. CCTV's Zhou Yun spoke to Daniel Mitchell, senior fellow at the think tank at the Cato Institute, and asked him what kind of international impact this FACA law would have. In effect, the United States is holding a gun to these countries' heads. If you don't sign up with FATCA, if you don't agree to be a deputy tax collector for the IRS in America, we're going to impose this 30% withholding tax on any investments in America, uh, the payments of those investments back to your country. That's a very, very punitive uh, form of financial protectionism. So yes, it makes sense that a lot of countries are signing up for that because most international companies, most international investors, uh, heck, most domestic investors are going to be investing in, in vehicles, in funds that then buy U.S. stocks and bonds and real estate. So, so the U.S. does have the power to sort of grab other people by the neck and shake and force them to, to acquiesce to this law. That doesn't mean it's a good law. Any American who has any international activities, whether you're an American expat living someplace like China, uh, or whether you're a cross-border investor, the presumption of this law is that you're a, a cheat, you're a criminal, you're a tax evader. And so therefore, any institution that you have any contact with has to become a deputy enforcer for the IRS. And again, it's, it, it's the sense of proportionality. If somebody uh, you know, drops a, 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 a a little bit of paper on the street. They're littering. Should they get the death penalty? No, of course not. That'd be out of proportion. But FATCA is, in effect, the tax equivalent of that. Huge 30% withholding taxes, uh, huge potential penalties for foreign financial institutions, for foreign governments, uh, and all designed because politicians are so greedy they can't stop spending other people's money, and they want more of it.